Welcome to the Scran Line Every Day. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make this super flaky quiche crust, which is an all round delicious vessel that holds delicious fillings, only limited by your imagination. It can be used for a broad range of sweet or savory tarts like quiches or dessert tarts that are overly sweet and need a bit of a salty crust to them. It stays crispy even when you bake it with wet fillings. To the bowl of a food processor, you're going to add some all-purpose flour and salt, some cold butter, and you're going to pulse this until the butter reaches lentil size pieces. These little bits of butter are going to create pockets in the dough kind of like little flecks that you're going to be able to see and as this bakes it's going to melt and create a super flaky buttery crust. Add your egg yolk in there, blitz it and then while the mixer is on high speed add some cold iced water and once you can see that a dough is forming it's done. Pour that out onto your workbench. I'm using a pastry mat, which I'm gonna to use to kind of bunch it together. You don't want to knead this dough, you want to bunch it together and form a disc. Once you've done that, wrap it in some plastic wrap and chill it in the fridge for one hour or overnight. Dust your workbench with some flour and place your unwrapped dough disc on top. We're going to roll this out and because it's cold, as you roll it out, you're going to see little cracks forming on the edges. As you see those forming, just pinch them together. Continue rolling your dough until it reaches about 12 inches in diameter. Drape it over your rolling pin and drape it back over your 9 inch tart tin with removable bottom. Rather than stretching the dough to the bottom of the tart tin, you want to gently lift up the sides and encourage it to naturally fall in there. That way, as it bakes, it doesn't shrink. And a really cool trick that I learnt to getting a nice even flat cut on the top of your tart shell is to use a rolling pin and it just gets it perfect every time. Prick some holes in the bottom of your tart shell so that it stops it from puffing up as it bakes. Scrunch up some baking paper and place it in the bottom of your tart shell. You're gonna fill this with some baking beads or if you're not rich, like me, <laughs> you're gonna use some chickpeas. This is going to go in the oven to bake for 15 minutes. Once it's baked for 15 minutes, you want to gently lift up the baking beads or chickpeas from the corner of the baking paper. Set those aside on a bowl to cool. Then this is going to go back in the oven to bake for a further 10 minutes. It's going to look lightly golden and at this point it's perfect for a quiche filling, which is a wet filling. Or if you want to fill this with a no-bake filling, let's say a chocolate ganache, bake it for 20 minutes instead of 10 minutes. This is the flakiest, butteriest, most delicious quiche crust, but it can be used for other things like I said. But let me just quickly show you my quiche recipe. I saute some leek, onions and garlic and then pop them in the bottom of the quiche tart. Then I add some smoked salmon which is just so gorgeous and it adds a nice smoky flavour to the quiche. Add some Gruyere cheese and then the egg filling. And by the way, if you want to grab this recipe, it's over on my website and I have a recipe for it as well. It's so delicious and guys, it freezes so well. Once you've baked it, it's pretty much ready to be eaten and it's just like the perfect breakfast, lunch or dinner. I'm just sprinkling some dill on top to kind of give it a bit more flavour. The recipe for my quiche crust, which is really easy to make like you saw, is over on thescranline.com. Link for that is in the box below. I hope you guys enjoyed spending time with me in my kitchen on my brand new channel. 
Let me know what other recipes you'd like to see in the comments down below. I'd love to hear from you guys. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you all on the next episode of The Scranline Every Day.